Hey guys, welcome to this lesson and today we're gonna do a self-dip reading test. And I invite you to practice with me. I will share some strategies and some views that you can use on your own test. Let's go! So again, we're gonna go to the uh, self-dip official site. We're gonna do the practice test. Um, okay. So um, prepare for self-tape, free practice tests. So in the official side, there are two practice, two free practice tests. So we're gonna choose self in general. Yeah, start sample test, uh, self in general practice test, start and practice test A. Let's do okay and uh, start. We're gonna do reading part yeah so uh, here you can do the complete test or you can do some different like parts yeah today i'm gonna do um reading uh, sample test and here we go yeah so uh here we have the instruction so we can go forward yeah we can go next but uh, we can't go back at the real exam uh, however in this sample test you can but uh, at the real exam uh, you cannot go back so you can you can just go next yeah you can just go forward um here we have the instructional video i'm gonna skip that and here we have the practice question yeah and uh, let's do that yeah can be surrounded on three sides by oceans to the north atlantic ocean borders yukon northwestern territories and nunavut of the west coast of british columbia is the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean meanwhile sits to the east of canada's maritime provinces which include nova scotia new brunswick and prince edward island so which province is on the pacific ocean well we clearly know the answer to that it is british columbia but still yeah we're gonna check it in the text the west coast british columbia is pacific ocean and we have the time for the second left so we're gonna go next okay so here we have the first part so uh, i want to remind you that in the reading section there are four parts and the first is the easiest uh here you can see the timer yeah we have 10 minutes to complete this task so in this task you'll have like reading correspondence so you'll have the email and two like two tasks yeah so what about the strategies that we're gonna use here so i strongly advise you to start with the question for example the first yeah and uh, usually they go like in order the text goes so that is perfect so uh, maria's mother is now where yeah so we're gonna we read the question and now we're gonna read the text uh, that find that piece of part that uh, that piece of text where we can see the answer so hi mia maria maria is the one who writes so maria's mother is as you know i'm in a very busy summer and my family visits my family's visits from chile the creation ceremony was great to base too bad you guys couldn't make it but we understand it's a bit of a drive from calgary you were truly missed so my mom remembers you well that is we took the family sightseeing here in vancouver they loved it they left yesterday for victoria and will catch a plane back home from the year in three days so where are they now they left yesterday for victoria so they are now in victoria yeah so they left yesterday and will catch a plane back home from there in three days so in three days they will catch um, a plane so now they are in victoria next in a few weeks maria's son marco will uh, graduate from university and so on visit his family in japan starts a new job visit me and her family let's get let's find the answer the graduation my, uh, been very busy this summer with Marcos University Brigade and my family. Okay, Maria San Mar Marco will great. No, it was already visit his family in Japan. No, starting with yeah, so he starts a new job. Yeah, because here we have uh, he had accepted a job offer in Tokyo, so he will start a new job uh, in a few weeks. Then Marco is feeling. 
I'm sure happy enough to say Mark was very excited about it. The firm has been really active in the reconstruction, so he's very excited. Yeah, we can choose, we may have chosen happy about, but he's not happy about leaving his parents. He's happy about the new job. Um, okay, it's great first step in his career, not to mention the opportunity to experience a new culture and learn a new language. He's a little apprehensive about communicating in Japanese, but the firm has a translator and a tutor to help him. So he is feeling like a bit apprehensive, so he is nervous about speaking Japanese, yeah, about communicating in Japanese. So he's nervous about speaking Japanese. Then number four. Marcus employers are not supportive, doing little, specialist in town reconstruction and experienced with disasters. Okay, <sighs> not supportive. So they are supportive. Yeah, the firm has a translator and a tutor to help him, doing little for Marcus adaptation. No, they have translator and tutor to help him. Specialists in town reconstruction and experienced with disasters. So they have experience with disasters, yeah, because they rebuild in cities after large disasters. So they are specialists in town reconstructions. Yeah, the firm has been really active, yeah, in rebuilding and reconstructions efforts following the earthquakes and so on. Then Maria and Jack are worried about. Uh, Marco being in an earthquake, Marco not speaking the language, never seen Marco again, Marco's lack of life experience. Okay, Marco is over the moon, but Jack and I are having, uh, Jack and Maria, yeah, Jack and I are having a tougher time with it. We think he's so young to be so far away, but we know it's for the best. Um, yeah, so they are worried about Marcus lack of life experience so no to all of that yeah um they say he's so young to be so far away yes so they are worried they're concerned about his lack of life experience and me and Maria who are they okay um in the in any event, we are planning a farewell party, like goodbye party, yeah, for friends next weekend. And Marco cannot imagine not having you. The party will be at his apartment. He doesn't want to say goodbye to you all. Uh, so we'll be in touch. Yeah, not have a, a party for friends. So they are who? They are old friends. The next task, so we have four minutes left. Yeah, we spent six minutes on that. Okay, so here's the response. Uh, let's read it. This is such wonderful news. Count us in. We would hate to miss what? The living party? The trip? The flight? The living party. Yes. Yeah? So they're having a farewell party. Yes. Yeah? So they would miss the living party. We'll leave at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Okay. Where? Where do they leave? Uh, we're gonna return to the first part of the um, text first paragraph a decoration or too bad you guys couldn't make it but we understand it's a bit of a drive from calgary so they live in calgary so they will leave calgary at 6 a.m they'll be there by early afternoon that way if you need any help see setting up the setting up the what the party yeah so i'm talking about the body you'll have some extra help also, we want to give Mark a graduation gift. Initially, we thought about a sofa for his Vancouver apartment, but I guess that... <laughs> prefer bed. So, he's uh, living, yeah? Um, he really doesn't want to live without saying goodbye. The party will be at his apartment, yeah? So, but he's living, yeah? It's too big for the apartment. No, it's too expensive for us. No, he would prefer bed. No, he can't use that now, yeah? Because he, he lives, yeah? He's living and he can't use that now. Do you have any suggestions? Does he have anything he needs for the creation ceremony? No, it's already <laughs> happened. Yeah, Vancouver apartment. No, he's not living in Vancouver. Move to Tokyo, visit to this. Move to Tokyo, yeah? So he's moving to Tokyo. So he asks whether he needs anything for the move to Tokyo. Yeah, and that's it. We 
finished yeah we did all the tasks here like 11 questions and we have two minutes left here you can um, like use this minutes to um, check the um your answers but i wouldn't recommend that because you can um you can change your right answers into the wrong one that would be bad yeah so um usually i just go forward i just press next so here we move to the reading part two a reading to apply a diagram we have a diagram with pictures and descriptions and we have the email yeah that we need to complete again let's start with the questions because we have eight minutes left all right so you will find the TH presentation file it's ready i've also done some research and travel remember the conference is a week away we haven't decided how to get there yet here are our options buses are the hmm because the fleet is old and there are no stopovers so bus buses are most desirable most flexible less comfortable less effective because their fleet is old and there are no stopovers yes so bus no check no washrooms no stops on so morning trips no check baggage allowed so buses are mm, i would say less like least comfortable yeah buses are uh, least comfortable like no stopovers no washrooms no stops okay the train seems more relaxed and we have plenty of time to get some work done if needed the train seems more relaxed and we have plenty of time to get some work done if needed it than I had expected, especially when compared to air fears. Air fears, yes, so we're talking about price here. So it is price lower because more uh, train again. So we look at train price 260, 260 and plane 240. So it is, uh, it costs more, yeah, it's more expensive, it costs more than is far from the hotel. Flying would save us time and the airport is close to the hotel in Russia. In case we want to visit Dr. Kitayama, lastly, I really wouldn't mind. My car is economical. So, last I wouldn't mind driving. Yeah, so because we are talking about car next. Uh, would give us flexibility to what? So, now we're going to look at freedom, flexibility. It means freedom to explore the city no need to pay for cabs to and from hotel so it gives us flexibility to go go sightseeing yeah freedom to explore the city go sightseeing and we have some like two questions left so peter and jenny so who are they best yeah peter and jenny so Seattle conference presentation, you'll find this presentation i've done some research on travel conference so probably they work together right so they're talking about conference about presentation so definitely they're not friends yeah like neighbors they work together yeah the main purpose of the trip is to attend business meeting with tourist attractions speed at the conference to visit a doctor so they're talking about conference presentation so to speak at a conference uh peter seems sympathetic apathetic cooperative unhelpful so he seems cooperative yeah because he writes all these things yeah he done some research and travel so he's very cooperative any questions here <laughs> yeah so we're done yeah we have like four minutes left we can go to the washroom yeah, and so on or we just can go next next part three is reading for information we have the text like uh, four paragraphs and uh, e like not given like sentences yeah that we need to match to the paragraphs again so i guess this is the hardest task because uh, most of my students get frustrated here and get confused so let me show you some techniques that i use and that i teach uh, to my students that i teach on my course so let's read the uh, sentences first okay so there are physical differences between narwhal males and females narwhals are also referred to as death-like there are aspects of narwhals anatomy that remain unexplained narwhals present puzzling social interactions narwhal whales are connected to canadian aboriginal folklore 
There is a sound understanding of narwhals mating behavior. Different countries are documenting narwhal behavior patterns. The narwhal population is in jeopardy. Narwhals physical characteristics are also observed in other whale groups. Okay, so we may not memorize all of them, but still. Now, we're going to read the first paragraph and try to match with any of these statements. Okay, let's read it. I do it on my own. You can do that too. All right, so here we have some physical characteristics with beluga whales having similar shape and size. I remember that we have some statement here. Narrow physical characteristics are also observed in other whales groups. So I choose this A, it is mentioned here. Okay, um, the first, very first sentence, narwhal is an endangered type of whale. Yeah, so the narwhal is in jeopardy. So yeah, there is danger to its population, endangered. Yeah, so there are little of these whales. Also referred to as death. Yeah, narwhal means corpse, whales. Corpse means like the body, like after death. Dead body, yeah. Corpse is a dead body, so the second is A. Yeah, usually, wow, wow, we have like three A's. Yeah, usually A is like one because they want, they like to put like. Normal and distinctive characteristics lies in the presence of a long. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna do that on my own. All right. Uh, males, females. Yeah, so vice presence of those from males yeah so females just have more regular yeah so here we have the difference between males and females i'm gonna put b uh yeah so probably you may not know some words some vocabulary like task or protrudes and so on but uh, try to uh, get the meaning and get the answer from that vocabulary that you have that you know all right so what else do we have here aspects of russian anatomy remain and explain no that's pretty clear i would say Pause and social interactions connect no 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 okay nothing let's move to the next paragraph puzzled puzzled scientist the purpose of the task is puzzled Scientist and local version of this line. Mm. <laughs> Purpose of the task, yeah, of the unicorn whale has puzzled. So, um, Northern Aboriginal legend. Yeah, connect Canadian. Oh no, so it's connected to Canadian. Okay, so uh, puzzled scientists. So we're gonna use aspects of uh, remain unexplained. And here we're gonna put C. Um, connected to um, Canada. Okay, Northern Aboriginal legend. Explain Well, it is connected to Canada, Canada, Northern Canada, and Greenland. So. A Northern Aboriginal legend explains. So yeah, I would say yeah. Five is also C. Um, mystery, yeah, and Lucian or mystery first man. Just the German. yeah, so as we remain unexplained, some aspects remained unexplained, right? Yeah, and C connected to the folklore for Aboriginal legends. So you can see the, how the uh, task and the text are paraphrased. Okay, we have three left in the last paragraph. Behavior. Males for the Of yet unknown reasons. I would say it's uh, four. Yeah, present puzzling social interactions. Unknown reasons. There is a sound of saying, okay, let's see. Robin, their task, uh, something with mating behavior and display generic superiority. Mm. 
different kinds of document in our behavior patterns yeah like canada and greenland yeah document document and recorded being observed and recorded through satellite yeah through satellite right so it is d the sound and the same nerves made it yeah so we have some major behavior like rubbing their tusk but nothing is said about sound so it is not given that which is e it is not given yeah because we don't have proof yeah if we have it so we have it yeah it's paraphrased or something like that yeah but if we don't have proof that it means it's not given and sometimes it could be like one sentence or it could be even more but we are done here and i would say so we have like one minute left and i would say you may you may say that i'm doing it too fast but actually i'm doing it in time yeah so you see we have like one minute left to just like make a deep breath and click next and prepare for the next part so this is the speed that you need to aim at and here we have the next part the hardest the last reading for viewpoints yeah we have the article from a website like academic article and we have this article is about uh, da -da 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 -da. let's read the first paragraph but usually like this question it's like too complicated and in order to answer it you need to read the whole text and i don't like to do that at the beginning because you otherwise you may not have uh, time for the next question so i would start with the second mr gordon's intervention so but let's read the first paragraph. two major concerns obesity mm -hmm intervention to address both mm -hmm. spark medical no it's not medical he decided to infuse academic studies with physical activity in his own classroom uh, okay let's read uh, some like one more paragraph because uh, i can see the answer here it's not first and fourth so let's read some more personal experience incredibly helpful yeah oh, they approach with the students to feel oh. yeah so he uh was designed no he was inspired by his own successful experiment as a student yeah this idea came to Gordon after personal experience so this is the answer the intervention was not initially very received okay let's read this paragraph despite the student's excitement and academic improvement he met resistance from school's principal who was not convinced that academic physical so should be amalgamated okay so it was not initially well received yeah at the beginning yeah, initially supported and uh, given conduct in this way yeah, initially well received by the school principal according to dr ratney exercising okay now we're gonna uh, find dr ratney it turns out there's one misconception as the attention system on uh was recommended to be less impulsive and more prone to learn the pursuits of autonomy what uh, found a year into aha uh -huh. so um exercising increased physical and now it uh, causes kids to be less impulsive so it is uh, no it's not it doesn't increase more important is no so it is diminish it diminishes hyperactivity and increases in, in uh, attention it causes kids to be less impulsive so diminishes hyperactivity and increases attention more prone to learn yeah so that is the end so you see how this uh paraphrase and you need to find the very same information but in different words so in order to do that you need to have it high level <laughs> high level high, high english level okay at one year mark the intervention here yeah my students the precisely what mr gordon found a year into the intervention was endurance physical has improved their fit okay 
Um, confirms uh, contradict professor. Not contradicted. It confirmed Professor Zretny in expectations, and it contradict Mr. Epstein initial reaction. It produces the results that Mr. Gordon expected. Yeah, and we have like three answers left. Two questions. So we have to finish the like complete the comment. So, um, quite dubious of Mr. Gordon's attempt to reduce the weight. No, that wasn't his attempt. Brain exercise, develop a cure, finish university. No, brain exercise into the classroom. Uh, Ratney, although Dr. Ratney claims that this project was implemented at Harvard for a year, was more important than academic, will improve students' control of this. So, Dr. Ratney is the one who supported it. Yeah, so. Uh, claims he claims that this project will improve students' concentration. I often find opposite is true. Indeed, I is students that play soccer but at lunchtime that um, in the afternoon. That are most likely uh, <laughs> that are most likely to fail, yet to lose their conscious. Like at the opposite, the opposite is true. Yeah, if they're playing uh, sport in the morning, so they probably likely to fade in the afternoon. It would be a mistake to right to the end of the busy school day to overwork yeah to overwork the students like with the exercise and the studies. There is also a question of time management. It's simply not possible to get through the curriculum while the students our two feet uh, bouncing around a little bit is really to get more because you don't have time to do um, While the students are bouncing around on yoga balls, yeah, like doing some exercises and like only the sensor uh, fits here. Well, I did it very fast. <laughs> I have six minutes left, so I'm so excited about reading and I'm so excited about finding the answers into in, like in this text. And yeah, that is really exciting oh yeah we have one question left wow so this article is about we can uh finally we can answer it so it is about conventional high school teacher with unconventional idea like traditional high school teacher with untraditional idea as uh, so no it's not adhd partnership between a gym friend now program is just um, by principle no principle was against so it is a conventional high school teacher with an unconventional idea. So now we can answer after we read the whole text, after we answer the like the, all the tasks, so we can answer this question, what this article, what this text is about. Yep. So yeah, then that's it. Yeah, let's move next. Here we have our answers. And oh, everything is right. So if you do right, yeah, you can score like... 10 to 12, yeah, yeah, approximate self score is. So that's it for the reading test. You can see that you can do that in half an hour and succeed in it. So in order to do that, you may follow my techniques and my strategies to read the, uh, uh, read the question first, try to find this piece of text where you can find this answer and try to compare if it is really true, if it is real answer, if it, the, the information the same. So the words may be different. The words may be paraphrased. Yeah, the information may be paraphrased. It could have synonyms. Yeah, and different uh, like words, different um, speech um, patterns, different structures, but the information will be the same and you need to be able to find that the same information then you uh, look at the text and the question you see that you compare it yeah compare them see that the information is the same and you give the right answer so that is the strategy that i advise you to use on your uh, cell pip test reading test and you'll have uh, success in it and also if you want to join my course i'll send the link below in the description and you can look at the all the lessons that we i will have the year and all the tasks so uh, on my self pip course i teach students to use these techniques 
for a reading, listening part and use the techniques that we're gonna need in writing and speaking part. If you want to join my course, so please click the link below in the description and um, check out all the information we have there, check out the prices. And if you have any concerns, any questions, you can write down to me on Instagram or in the comments below this video. That's it for now. Have fun and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.